What if I told you that a few simple changes could dramatically increase your click-through rate? Stick around because I'm revealing five powerful tips to make your videos irresistible. Especially the shocking tip number three that you don't want to miss. Your video's thumbnails is a first impression of what viewers see in the search engines, on suggested videos, and on the YouTube homepage. So you need to make them count. If no one clicks on your thumbnails, they're not going to watch your video and you've wasted all that time creating your content. Later, I'll show you how to test and compare thumbnails using YouTube's built-in thumbnail tester. Here's how to make your thumbnail stand out from your competitors. Use contrasting colors in the background or a gradient like I've done here. Use a close-up of your face that expresses the emotion of someone watching your video. It could be a surprised face like this. It could be a serious face like this. Or it could be a curious face like this. Add text, but keep it short and punchy, such as in this example. Add a curiosity factor so it motivates viewers to click and watch your video. You can even use AI to come up with ideas for your thumbnail. For example, I use this prompt. What thumbnail text evokes curiosity when combined with this YouTube title, five game-changing tips to increase your click-through rate? Number three will shock you. Perplexity gave me four answers. The secret weapon. You're doing it wrong. This changes everything. Shocking CTR hack. I can't believe number three. I chose number five. I can't believe number three. Just keep in mind, your thumbnail should tell a story that makes viewers curious. Also make sure your thumbnails can clearly be seen on all devices, such as phone, tablet, and desktop. Titles are the second biggest motivating factor for viewers to click and watch your video. But how can you create clickable titles? Use numbers to grab attention, such as a title I've used for this video that says, Five game-changing tips to increase your click-through rate. This motivates viewers to check out all the tips and keep watching your video all the way through. Include power words that evoke emotion. Power words are emotionally charged terms that can influence how people feel about your message. They can inspire, motivate, shock, or provoke curiosity. Here's some examples of emotional power words. Amazing, incredible, unbelievable, heartwarming, shocking. Urgency power words convey a sense of immediacy, prompting viewers to act quickly. Examples include now, instant, limited, don't miss, urgent. Curiosity power words spark interest and intrigue, making viewers want to learn more. Examples include secret, hidden, discover, unlock, reveals. Action power words encourage viewers to take action and engage with your content. Examples include boost, transform, master, achieve, elevate. Here's a couple of examples of using power words in your title. Five shocking tips to skyrocket your YouTube click-through rate. This could be combined with the thumbnail text, which could say, unlock hidden secrets, or transform your views now. Don't make the mistake of duplicating the title in your thumbnail text. Create a knowledge gap in your title to spark curiosity. A curiosity gap is a space between what a person knows and what a person wants to know. It's based upon a psychological principle that when people know there's a gap in their knowledge, they want to fill it. For example, I used a knowledge gap in the title for this video. Five game-changing tips to increase your YouTube click-through rate. Number three will shock you. You can also tease about unexpected information, such as five common habits that are actually harming your health. You can also hint at exclusive or little-known information, such as the secret YouTube hack 99% of creators don't know. You can also leverage the how factor in your title, such as this example, how I gained 100,000 subscribers in 30 days. Here's a hot tip when creating your titles. Come up with 10 title ideas before choosing the best one. You can even use AI to help you with your titles. For example, I used the prompt, list 10 titles for a video about how to increase YouTube click-through. Here are the 10 engaging video titles I received. Now here's the shocker. Timing is everything. Most creators focus on the content, but forget about the best time to post. Here's how to use YouTube Analytics to find when your audience is most active on YouTube. Go to YouTube Analytics and click on the Audience tab where it says when your viewers are on YouTube. The dark purple color is when very many of your viewers are on YouTube. The light purple color is when many of your viewers are on YouTube. The very light purple color is when some of your viewers are on YouTube. So choose the dark purple times to publish your videos. If you have the TubeBuddy extension installed, it will show you the recommended times to release your video. Link is in the description. For example, if you upload once a week, then Sunday at 10 a.m. would be best. If you published videos daily, then 10 o'clock would be the best time. Schedule your videos to go live during the peak times. The scheduling feature enables you to publish your videos at the peak times without being tethered to your computer. For example, recently I did a four-day bike trip on a Hall of Fame trail that showed stunning scenery, including tunnels, bridges, beautiful rivers, waterfalls, and scheduled my videos while I was traveling. 
The first 24 to 48 hours is crucial. Make sure you engage early with your viewers to boost your initial click-through rate. This simple shift can often double or triple your click-through rate. I promote my video on YouTube by posting it to my community tab. I also link to a related video or playlist in the end screen and post the same link in the description and pin it to the top of the comments. I also post it to my social media sites, notify my email list, and post it to my blog. This helps gain long-term views and my videos getting seen in the search engine. The YouTube algorithm is a recommendation system that decides which videos to show to specific people based upon their browsing behavior. So if you're watching a lot of cat videos on YouTube, YouTube will show you more cat videos. The goal of the algorithm is to rank videos based upon the likelihood that viewers will watch it using signals such as relevance, quality, and user behavior. YouTube says our algorithm doesn't pay attention to videos, it pays attention to viewers. So rather than trying to make videos that make an algorithm happy, Focus on making videos that make your viewers happy. This means the algorithm doesn't recommend videos based upon popularity, but whether the individual viewer watches the next video than the next video. This means two viewers will get different results even when they're searching for the same information. YouTube says you can increase the chance of YouTube suggesting your content by increasing your click-through rate and video watch time. So how do you increase your watch time? Keep your viewers engaged throughout your video by starting off with a strong hook, such as making a bold statement, asking a question, or teasing about what's coming up later then go straight into your main content. Reset the attention of your viewers by using graphics, text overlays, transitions, and zoom effects. End your video with a strong call to action, such as getting viewers to watch a related video or playlist. If viewers watch multiple videos in your playlist, it extends the watch time on YouTube and increases the probability of your videos getting suggested by YouTube. As long as viewers enjoy watching your videos, they'll keep coming back for more of your content. A-B thumbnail testing is your path to click-through rate perfection. Create multiple thumbnails for each video you upload, then use YouTube's built-in A-B testing feature to figure out which thumbnail works best. You can then analyze the results and apply what you learn to future videos. Just keep in mind what works for one video may not work for another, so keep testing. Here's how to use the test and compare feature on YouTube. Click on content in YouTube Studio, then select the video that you wish to test. Hover over your thumbnail, then click on Options. Select Test and Compare. You can upload up to three images to learn which one viewers prefer. Here are my three images for this video. YouTube will see which thumbnail performs the best. Wait up to two weeks for the results. Viewers will see the winning thumbnail because YouTube automatically updates your video when the test is done. Remember, half all channels on YouTube have an impressions click-through rate between 2 and 10%. Impressions click-through rate measures how often viewers watch a video on YouTube after seeing a registered impression, such as a thumbnail. So how much audience retention on YouTube is good? Watch this video on the screen right now to discover the videos on my channel that had a good audience retention rate and performed well. You won't believe the answer.